What is this? You get what I'm saying. Does that make sense? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and a little combo of like, I would say kind of some fall things. Um, I love this like sort of berry lip. Um, I did this berry cheek, but also this lip combo. So yes, the cheek and the lip combo. Um, just some good things to share with you. We got some fun stuff to talk about. So if you're new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to favorites videos, new at the drugstore reviews, empties, get ready with me. It's just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are chatting about Friday favorites. So let's get to it. Okay, for eyes, I've mostly been reaching for this, the Sigma Fiery Eyeshadow Palette. If you're excited for the fall makeup, if you're going that route, this is a beautiful fall palette. I mean, it's got lots of options in here. I've mainly just been reaching for this shade right here, this one all over my lid. Those are really the main two shades. I do have a little bit of this on the inner corners of my eyes. I didn't do that an inner part of my like lid, inner, I don't know, third of my lid. So I was using this sometimes, but not every time. And then I have a tiny bit of this um, in my outer corner, but not very much of it. And I didn't do that every time. So it just kind of depended on what I was feeling like, but this palette's good. Like it is very blendable, good formula. They're kind of like soft shadows, but pigmented. Soft, but pigmented shadows. Did I remember to put, yeah, I did. Okay, so I, I added something else with my eye look a few times and I like the, anyway, this is beautiful. So pretty. The metallics are light catching and gorgeous. This one's a pretty kind of reddish copper sort of color. I love colors like this in the fall. It's like, how would you describe that? I, I think like pumpkin-y, I guess. How would you describe that color? Tell me how you would describe that color. It's a warm brown, but it's beautiful, blendable, great formula. This one's kind of like a, almost like a cantaloupe. Would you say this is a little bit cantaloupe? Maybe not that light and maybe not that like peachy. This one's more on the orangey side and then this is just kind of a nice peachy champagne. Beautiful, great formula. It's, I mean, it's not like super high end, but it's not drugstore. It's somewhere in the middle, I would say Sigma prices are, depending on what product you get. Like the bigger palettes are pricier than the smaller palettes. But yeah, it's really good. But I have also been mixing in still the e.l.f. Bite Size palette in I Love You A Latte, this shade right here, because this one alone is very orangey, very orangey yellow. So I have liked blending in this a little bit, just to kind of, let me put it like next to it. So you can kind of like see sort of how it changes. So there it is by itself. There it is, this one by itself. And then kind of in the middle shows you like the combo of them together. It just adds a tiny bit of a cool tone to it to bring down that yellowy orange. So I really like doing that. So that is another thing that I was doing. And this is, I could mention this all the time. It's one of my go-tos. I've been loving it lately. Also, you know, I've mentioned it recently. It's good. The Bite Size palettes, I love them. I Love You A Latte is one of my very favorites. It's great by itself. It's great mixed with other things. Yeah. Okay, for cheeks. So I have been using a couple products kind of in different ways. Um, these two right here. So I like this this way the most. So let me describe this way. What is this way? Starting with the e.l.f. Blush Crush in Deep Rose. I just love Essence. Did I say Essence? I don't know. I love Essence blushes because they are just... They keep kind of like coming out with different ones over the years and I pretty much always love them. They're always really affordable and good formulas. They're just good affordable makeup and their blushes are always some of my favorite products in their line. So anyway, these are the newer ones, Blush Crush and this is a gorgeous like rosy shade but it's got some good warmth to it. So. I've been liking using it as my blush and bronzer. I've used it on my eyes for a really easy eye look. So this is definitely something I've been using a lot. And yeah, so that's kind of, I like this is the first step. So this is definitely a blush favorite. 
And then, uh, as far as formula, I would describe it as a satin matte. Like it's, it's mostly matte, but it's not dry looking. It's got just a like a hint of a sheen. So I guess technically a satin, but it's not, you know, some satins are more on the, they have a little bit more glow and then ones are a little bit more on the matte side. I would say that this is like satin matte. Anyway, so there is that. And then these are new, I believe, from Rimmel, Kind and Free. They have Kind and Free products. So there's like lip products, this, I think there's like a tinted moisturizer or foundation or something type product. So anyway, I got a couple shades of these. I think there are four shades. And this one looks like it would not work for me. It looks like it would be too deep, but I have been loving it. This is 005 Berry Sweet. Berry Sweet. And, and it's like a, what does it say? So it says tinted multi stick. So that usually means you can use it in all different ways. I've just been using it on my cheeks. But anyway, this look like looks like this would be way too deep for me, but I just use it really lightly. Like definitely not even like that. I mean, I just get a little bit on a small stipple brush and then blend and it ends up being this beautiful like purpley berry color it is gorgeous you can see it right there that's how i've been doing it right there i did do it like this one day and i did i had to do some fixing things i had to try to cover that up a little bit because it was it was too much but that right there you can see it's really pretty so if you like a a beautiful purpley berry kind of color this is gorgeous so if you have you know if you're more like me and you gotta these kind of colors go more light-handed just use very little or i mean this full-on is gorgeous so yeah i have this on it's still a lot i have a lot on but i i like it i think it's fun and i like it with this because they just they work well together you know this is kind of a blush bronzer and then this blended in for a little bit more of a I was going to say reddish, but no, it's more on the pinky berry side. And yeah, as far as like the full look together, I do this a lot where, um, you know, if you have something that's more like orangey and you're trying to somehow get to a pink, you know what I mean? Like a pinky lip. I mean, those still go together, but tying the makeup together, sometimes I'll do like a similar color to tie it together, if that makes sense. So if I have a really warm eye look and I've got more of a pinky red berry cheek and I want that to tie in I'll just grab something that's a little bit warmer to pair with it you know what I mean and I just kind of play with things in different ways with that if that even makes sense just to kind of something that ties them together does that make sense <laughs> okay and then for lips I've got a couple favorites I cannot stop wearing this the essence the slim stick what is this? The Slim Stick Six Hour Long Lasting Lipstick in Baby Got Blush. I cannot stop wearing this. I, it's it's my new favorite. I love it so much. Purpley, pinky sort of shade. I've mentioned it multiple times already. So quick mention here. Purpley, pinky sort of color. Um, kind of a velvety matte. Definitely doesn't feel creamy and hydrating, but doesn't feel drying either. It's just like low maintenance. If you like matte lipsticks, I think you would like it, uh, but I love the color. So I've been wearing it by itself or lightly applying it. And then I love this that Pixie sent me. This is beautiful. This is the Pixie and Hello Kitty Lip Tone PH. Oh, it's like, like metallic writing on pink. Reactive Tint. Reactive tint. It says moisturizing tint creates your unique hint of a tint color. Apply to clean, dry lips. Well, I apply it. I've used it by itself and I really like it by itself, but I've mainly been using it with this. Either just that like kind of blotted down or around the outsides of my lips because this, I love the pink that this ends up being on me. Like it's just, I mean, it's pH reactive, so it's gonna, you know, obviously look different on everybody. But on me, I don't know. It just ends up being this really beautiful, brighter pink, but not neon. It's just a beautiful, rich, bright, bright, bright pink, but not, not hot pink, not neon pink. And it goes so well with this. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. 
It is a thicker hydrating formula for sure. But see, you can see it reacting there. It is just beautiful and they go so well together. It's just gorgeous. So I'm, I really like these kind of reactive lip tints. And I think it's because I almost always like the color it ends up creating. It usually ends up being, um, not always, but a lot of times a richer pink, like a hot pink that, well, I say that, like a brighter pink, richer pink, but that's not totally neon. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm communicating, expressing myself well today, but you get what I'm saying that it's just this beautiful pink and it pairs really nicely with this that I cannot stop wearing both great lip products. I feel like that was a lot of words to try to express my favorites for this week, but hopefully you still enjoyed it. Those are my Friday favorites. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know down below what you have been loving or maybe not so much loving. Let me know what you've been up to recently. I would love to hear that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video.